just how I was getting into it. It happens. Hey, everybody. Howdy. How y'all doing today? It's the Jam. And Dave. Bear Bear review. Bear. And you know, this here is the month of October, which means we talk like a bunch of a-holes from the South. All right, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Hey, I get no respect for my life. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, my wife, oh, worst cook in the world. I mean, how does toast have bones? You know what I mean? Oh, okay, no respect. Anyway, no, Dave, seriously, this is October. This is the month for Oktoberfest beer. beer. So every month is beer month. Every day is beer day. On the Jim and Dave Beer Review. On any day of the beer day. So as we continue into October, we continue our reviews of Oktoberfest beers. Dave, what do we have on tap for this beer review? We've got a beer brewing company that I really like. Very good. And I like this beer. I've had it before, disclaimer, but I haven't reviewed it yet. Matter of fact, we had some today when we went to the King of Prussia Beer Fest. There you go. Royale. Victory Brewing Company's Feast Beer. Feast or Fest? It's Fest. Fest Beer? Fest Beer. Feast, Feast Beer. Feast Beer. About the bird Friendship and Camaraderie. Friendship and the Camaraderie. The keys to any festive event. Right. And then there's the beer. No, then there's the beer, then there's the friendship. You have to have beer first. Anyway, it should be full-bodied, yet infinitely smooth. Seductively malty with a kiss of the hops for balance. This is our feast beer, best beer. Painstakingly crafted from German malts. De Painstakingly crafted from German malts. Yeah. Brewed for full flavor and carefully. I'm doing. Hey, read, read. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> dude, get some beer. beer. I can't. <laughs> I'm drooling, dude. <laughs> Um, mm. carefully aged for depth of character. Gathered. Death of character? Depth. 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 Oh, depth. Sorry. depth. <laughs> depth. Hey, you mean like Johnny Depth? No, something better than that. Okay, good. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. What did they say they were in Downingtown? Here so we far. are in Downingtown. What is is that town? closer than uh, Weyerbacher? It sounds like closer. Downingtown is closer than Weyerbacher. Okay, well, let's go. What are we doing? Where? Is this a Downingtown? I think that's what they said today. I can't remember. After people were talking so much, and they had the the the, the damn music thing going, they couldn't, couldn't hear nothing. Yeah, I like the Umpa band better than. I'm like sitting, I'm standing like next to Jim, and I'm like, Jim, I got it. He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you really don't need bands playing at beer fest. It's, it's no. plenty festive without. Although the, the one woman bump, that was up bump. there with her tambourine thing, she was pretty hot. Yeah, I think she was a singer. Yeah. But she well, was, my favorite part is when they were giving the awards out. They're like. And the award for best beer at the beer fest is, and there's like literally Dave and I standing in front and the photographer. And and then they said the name of the beer, and I went, No! No! Because you got Weyerbacher over here. Weyerbacher. You got the shoots over there. The shoots. Okay, you got like, I don't know. And like, who won? Who did the world win? Rock Bottom. Yeah, because it was the Rock Bottom. Cause that's who, who's then we, after we got that, we went over and we had the rock bottom. We went, not so much. It was like, and the, you know how old the brewer was? One, 12. 25. Oh, God. He's, I swear, he looked like he was 18. I think he paid off somebody. I know, right? And he's just like, oh, I'm one of the brewers. And I was who just is, like, good for you. Who's, who's judging <laughs> these things? It wasn't me, man. There's no questionnaire, no Fill out for him, no nothing. Now listen, either. these guys, none of these places, whether it was Weyerbacher, Victory, or um, Deschutes, Deschutes, none of them brought their best. I would like to go to Victory. Let's go. It's driving distance. We should do it like like, like once a month, go to one place. No, no, I can't afford to do that. It's expensive. Well, once a month? Yeah, I mean, I spent eight bucks that day. That didn't bother me. Yeah, well, that's because you... No, you owe me money already. anyway. I want to get rid didn't bother you because you, how would you have the money? <laughs> well, we want to do the 80 bucks. We well, bought a t shirt. Yeah, I had to. You didn't have to. Okay. I was going to wear Don't that. Don't buy a t shirt and then complain about spending money. And then I bought a, a doohickey. You did buy a doohickey. I don't know what's call it. Thing well, I bought the last two, three doohickeys, so don't worry about it. He's talking about a growler, by the way. Yeah, it made some wire barker on it. So yeah, Beer Fest was pretty fun. Uh, you would think that it, we were like, yeah, we'll be done this hour, hour and a half. Three and a half hours later, we're just like, 
It's ending already? You're having a good time. Do I have to use a porta potty again? Yeah. People, you're disgusting. Yeah, human beings in general are disgusting. My God, what comes out of people's Life is body? disgusting. I know, what comes out of people's bodies, right? That's interesting. They got a uh, little picture. I us show it to you here. What does it say? Well, it's a couple people what with a big do? tub, as if they're, like, you know, mixing the beer up what or something. What is your daddy and what does he do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? It's not a tumor. Not a tumor. Shut, Shut up! Shut up! It's a right. movie. Let's pop the beer gut. Yes. All right. Anyway, we're getting back on to Victory's yeah. Fest beer. Oh, good lord. Feast of beer. Who's Feast of beer. It Cheers. is, by the way, 5.6 ABV. Oh, yeah. Give us some specs real quick. Uh, subtly sweet with a delicate malt mm. nose. Our Fest of beer gains its impressive body from our use of all imported German malt and decretation brewing process. Well, you know what? It's puff. Food pairings. Like Food pairings. Food pairings? Spicy Latin women. What? Pizza. I buy bread. that for a dollar. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. We are so French right now. What is that? Is that from Robocop? Yes. Yeah. It smells bread. I always think that's from like, from like Total Recall. Robocop, Total Recall, same, same thing. thing. Yeah. It smells bready. That's the thing with um, Oktoberfest. Yeah, they said bread. They said bread. That smells a little sweeter than the average beer, too. Mmm. Smooth. I, I would say that's bready. Smooth. That's breadier than your average beer, right? Smooth. Now, what makes it bready, you might ask? I don't know. You didn't ask. I think it's the malts. They don't put bread in there? No, no, no. Well, as we all know, the malts are the sweetening agent, and the hops are the bittering agent. Oh, it's it's so it's so it was so entertaining to watch Jim talk to these people. It was because I actually have a personality. While Dave is just like, "Hello," Jim went over and talked to the security guard for like twenty minutes. Really, was what it about? that long? I don't know, but I was sitting there. Like, hey, that, listen, these poor guys—they're standing over there in the corner. They have gapses, gapses. Gapses in his teeth is? They have <laughs> gapses in their fences where they go in and out and is he? Mm -hmm. No, seriously, here's this guy standing there and he's just like, I, I was like, hey, you know, thanks for, you know, guarding the fence. I was like, is anyone really coming in from this corner? He's like, oh, I, I turned away two people already. I was just like, oh, okay, so you're doing your job, that's cool. And he says, uh, I was like, well, so you get paid good for this? He's like, oh, no, I'm a volunteer. And he like lifts up his little badge and says volunteer. I was like, oh. All right, well, did you get free beer? why were you what volunteering mean? for this? That's why I asked him. I said, do you get free beer? He says, oh, no, well, I'll get free tickets for next year. Oh. All right, cool. You know, I was like, well, you know, I like free tickets. I don't know if I want to volunteer, but, yeah, you know. Get big stick. Big stick, right, absolutely. Anyway, this June Day beer. Seven beer. and a half. Really? You like it that much, huh? I do. So you buy this. I love victory stuff, yes. Oh, poor Puff. Puff, give me a Puff. Give me a Puff. Let me puff. Let me puff. Let me puff. What a good puff. It really is. As well, old one eye. I wanted to get her done this week, but it would have been too much of a hassle, I think, to get her yeah, done. Yeah, God forbid you do her this week for a hassle. What? No, I was just thinking about when I take it, they're going to be like, they have to have to check this eye out, and blah, 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 blah. All right, you got it a seven and a half. I'm going to give this a seven. It's um, a very decent Oktoberfest beer. It's certainly bready. Um, it's uh, very drinkable. I would buy it. I prefer it in a sampler pack. I know that I say that often, maybe a little too often, but it's pretty good. And quite frankly, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, Kitty Cat. Let's not put your tail into Dave's uh, Fest beer. Fest. It's interesting they call it Fest beer as opposed to October. Look at Fest. their brewery, man. They spent some money on an architect. Look at that, man. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah, that's. Not like the place where we get wire, but you, know, you don't have that pretty place to have the beer, though. No, no, no. Well, that was one of the things, you know, Dave, one of my dreams has always been to open up my own brewery, and I always, in my fantasy, because that's probably really the only way it's going to happen, is to say, uh, I wanted a place where I had these giant statues with people with a beer, giant, you know, you ever see Lord of the Rings, the first movie, where they're going down the river, and these, these giant statues, the um, bottles Argonauth, or whatever it's called, I was like, I would love to have giant statues outside of my brewery, and they're all like, Reaching out, holding a giant beer, presenting it to the public. And I thought to myself, you know how much that would cost to make something like that? Probably a lot. 
there's a lot of, I see, and on Twitter, they're like, hey, we're opening our own brewery. And they're throwing up a standard steel building, you know, pouring concrete floor. They got the little, you know. Um, what does BBL stand for? Um, bitches better leave because I'm going to sleep. Because they have the initial production of approximately 225,000 BBS per year. BBS or BBL? BBL. Uh, that's a beer barrel liters. Okay, they got 225,000. 225,000. I assume that's what that means. I'm just, you know. Total capacity up to 200 BBL. 6. Oh, I'm just looking at you. 6. Point, no, 6,200 gallons batch and 500 Headbutt. BBS per year. Headbutt. There we go. That's good pop. She's awesome. 12,000 square foot building on 42 acres. 42 acres. Nice. I guess land was cheap in downtown. I wonder if it had like some kind of industrial accident like Ambler. Ambler had a problem. They had like tons of, they have like didn't, pilots. Didn't Technotool. Uh, they went like to a brownfield, yep. Yeah. Everybody looks old there. <laughs> well, it's been 20, 20 They years. sold it to Granger. I know. For $400 million. I guess now the kids want to get into the business. I don't know if they still... If anybody They're like, let's retire and sell it. Each kid got $100 million. You need it. Super. Oh, that looks good. He's all right. So there you have it. Nice this is the uh, Jim and Dave Beer Review. We eat seven on me. 7.5 for Dave. Way to go, Victory. We think you had a winner here. Hey, listen, one of the things that we know we talk about a lot of other stuff on our beer review, and I apologize this is running a little longer. We try to do it simple sometimes. But this was a beer fest day, so we thought we'd share with you a little bit about our goings on. But we want you to drink responsibly. That means if you're pregnant, please don't drink alcohol due to the risk of birth defects. Purple Dave. <laughs> If you're uh, operating heavy machinery, nope. please don't drink, or uh, that includes driving a car. So, in other words, don't drink and drive, please. If you're under 21, hey, hold up. It'll still be there. There'll be the plenty of time for you to drink, because before you know it, you'll be like, oh, man. And by the way, card me? excessive drinking can cause health problems. So, again, yeah, like please drink bellies. responsibly. And the reason we try all these different beers is we believe that you should drink great beers. And have a good lap or two. With your friends. Or, and that's what we try to do today. So, thank you very much for watching. I had a good Subscribe time. to our channel, please. Hit like, dislike below, thumbs up, thumbs down. Comment. We like to hear you. Follow Call31 on hear Twitter. You. I hear you. Jim Rett, J I M M R E T, on Twitter. And that's also the same one, I think, for Instagram. So if you like get pictures of beer and cats, that's the place to go. Cats on Tap. That's one of my buddies. Follow him too. 2014 annual production, 125,713 barrels. Nice. Thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching, people. You guys are awesome. Very awesome. Year round. Puff. Puff. You want a treat? Man. You do. I love you. Bye-bye.